What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone this is tutorial 74 and to this topic will be how to use top documents chain in LangChain okay so basically in LangChain we have multiple or we have different types of chains available so chains are basically a sequence or you can call it workflow where actually one step or one uh, chain output will be the input for next operation or next sequence maybe uh, we can we can uh, assume that we have um, sequence of operation and all the operations are going to be combined inside a single chain okay so that is why you can call it as a chain and one sequence or one operations output is going to be the input for next operation so like that too, you can do it right so in this tutorial i'll be going to talk about staff document chain so staff means basically you have multiple documents and you want to actually run the same prompt for all the documents so that time how to actually um, do it so one option is actually you can do a for loop and you can actually run the same prompt for all the documents but that will be time taking but in this way uh, with the help of this top document chain we'll be going to actually pass all the documents and the single prompt together so it will uh, uh, it will find everything and it will generate the accurate answer so basically the change takes list of documents and formats them into a single prompt okay and then passes that prompt to llm okay and it passes all the documents right it should make sure it fits within the context window of the llm you are using so basically all the like um, splitting sorting embedding yeah not embedding everything uh, like uh, maybe you have a multiple document and you have a prompt right so basically every model whatever model you are using it has a context uh, length or window right so basically it will ca internally calculate everything like how much it wants to uh, like send for the first iteration so iteration and everything will be handled by internally their like um, mechanism okay so you don't have to worry you have to just use the staff document chain so basically uh, not much to discuss here so maybe I can just write the link. So link of the code will be available in this GitHub tutorial link. And what I'll do, I'll be just going to now start working on the code. Okay. So if I go here, you will see uh, there is something uh, I created already. I have multiple documents, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So basically, I have multiple documents. So every document is actually having information about some person. Like Aiden Black lives in San Francisco, California. He works for a software engineer. Uh, works as a software engineer, a lead tech company. And Aiden is twenty-eight years old, right? So similarly, this, right? Okay, like this. So basically, I'll be going to ask the question, and it will search all the document, and we, it will generate the answer. But I'll be just going to uh, uh, pass the document uh, all together. Okay, I'm not going to use any for loop or multiple iteration. Everything will be handled by them. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. Okay. So first thing first. So from LangChain uh, OpenAI import chat OpenAI, right? Then next thing will be. Uh, we'll be going to lead, load all the files from this directory. So what I'll do from LangChain uh, community dot document loaders import. So it should be directory loader, directory loader. Okay. So next thing will be what? Next thing will be chat from template. Okay. So from LangChain dot prompts import chat from template okay i believe last thing will be um, uh, we'll be going to use the combina com the main thing so from langchain dot chains okay so dot combine documents okay import create stuff documents chain and import os okay that's it okay so basically let's do prompt equals to chat from template okay dot from messages like this okay now what will happen uh, we'll do like this and we'll be going to write a prompt so basically system okay 
so system and what it will ask so basically uh, uh, what are every everyone's age right i want you to i want it to ask the same and we have to pass some context right so basically like this and then like slash and slash n and we have to pass a context so basically context we can create a variable context and at the end we can just do like this okay so now we have to pass this context um in the in the chain as an input variable right so we created the prompt now we're going to create our llm so basically chat open ai okay and we'll be just going to write model equals to gpt hyphen 4o right no problem at all now we'll be going to create the chain so chain will be this create stuff document chain right and it will take two input parameter one is llm and one is prompt right okay done now last thing will be we have to just uh, invoke this thing nothing else everything is done right so uh, before we invoke this thing we have to read this directory right so for that what we'll do we'll be going to write docs equals to uh, directory loader right and inside the directory loader what path it will be going to have path so path will be this directory means current directory so basically os dot get cwd the current working directory and the next thing will be uh, the glob means what is the uh, file format and everything so basically glob will be something like this and we'll be going to write any uh, anything in this uh, thing then this and then star dot txt means all the text files right and then we'll be just going to do docs equals to okay so i just need to change this variable it should be loader and docs will be loader dot load okay done now what will happen we're just going to write print docs okay so what we'll do we'll just try to check whether it is able to print anything or not okay only one line is pending that is the invocation of the chain which he created in the line number 13 okay but before that let's see whether it is able to read all the docs and not okay so yeah everything is loaded so if you see file name and everything is coming right so if you want to actually check the length of this thing it should give me 10 because i am actually having 10 files okay so let it run so meanwhile what i'll do i'll create response equals to chain dot invoke okay and there i'll be just going to pass something called context okay and context is actually our input variable here so context will be going to get the value from docs because i'm using a staff document change and staff document change expects uh, all the document in the list okay so it's a 10 right so clear right and what will happen we'll be just going to uh, like print the response so that's it right so print response right no rocket science behind this okay what i'll do just clear everything okay let's execute so basically it should give me like all whatever person is mentioned there everyone's age it will give me so let me execute okay okay let's see uh, i did a typo here okay so total one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so everyone's age came right that is what expected so guys um, uh, that is how you can actually um, like uh, use multiple documents and a single prompt to actually do some sort of like um, 
uh, intelligent uh, like uh, rag application suppose you have multiple pdfs and every pdf is actually having some similar information or maybe some information is actually available in all the pdf so basically let's say um, you have a report uh, for a company and in that report um, uh, you have a 10 pay, you have a 10 uh, you have a last 10 years report okay and in that report uh, you have total 100 pages right so in that 100 pages uh, like um, there will be for uh, mm, for month or maybe for mm, 10 I, as i said like you have 10 years report and every uh, report you have uh, quarterly segment right so basically now you have to actually uh, answer that i want to um, uh, i want to know the quarter one report for every year so what you have to do basically you have to run the same query okay and you have to pass all the documents so what the llm will do as just because we are using the staff chain so basically it will try to find that quarter one related information or relevant information within all the document and after that slowly slowly it will uh, generate the uh, like uh, related documents and from that it will refine the like response and it will send okay so here i'm actually not using rack but rack kind of thing you can easily develop the ultimate objective of this thing is to actually use them uh, very efficiently within the rack okay so enough of talking guys i should conclude the video over here hopefully you guys are enjoying this so the series is actually having a lot of videos now so you can imagine we, this is tutorial number 74 so i just um, before i actually end this uh, tutorial i would like to request if someone is watching this video for the first time or if you are the first time viewer of my channel it's a humble request please try to subscribe to our channel hit the like button share our videos with your family and friend and try to uh, let us know via some sort of comment whether you like the video what is missing in the video what you want to actually do better in our future content as well okay and and please please try to subscribe to our channel because that is the only motivation i'm getting from all of you and your one positive comment will also going to motivate me big time and uh, with the help of your subscription i'll slowly slowly um, like get some uh, visibility as well from the large number of audience base and also youtube will actually start promoting my videos because uh, more uh, subscriber will help me to actually um, like uh, get automatically discovered by the google uh, or youtube algorithm okay so it's a humble request try to achieve my goal i would like to reach the large number of audience so please help me to grow your own subscription is actually going to be too much helpful for me okay with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll be going to see you in the next video next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day happy learning